Our world is filled with indescribable beauty, both man-made and natural. It is difficult to say whether one lifetime is enough to see all the wonders of the earth. But I want to take a look at 24 incredible places around the world that are definitely worth a visit. Don't forget like and subscribe. Let's go! Bagan is a UNESCO World Heritage Site in the Mandalay region of Myanmar. Bagan is an ancient city in Myanmar sprinkled with over 2,000 beautiful temples and can only be described as a fairy tale. At sunrise hot air balloons float across the horizon, past the temples and pagodas that have stood there for over 800 years. Impressive and intricately detailed temples are dispersed throughout fields in every direction as far as your eyes can see. It is no wonder Bagan is Myanmar's most popular tourist destination and a firm favorite on any Myanmar backpacking itinerary and Asia bucket list. The Bagan Kingdom was one of Asia's most powerful empires and has great historical significance. Around 1,000 years ago Buddhism came to present-day Myanmar and the king asked for thousands of temples to be built to spread the religion throughout the land. Well over 10,000 temples, pagodas and monuments were built, but after the empire ended at the beginning of the 13th century due to the invasion of the Mongols, many sites fell into disrepair and so out of the 10,000 temples built, around only 2,200 still remain today. Salar de Uyuni, the world's largest salt flat is an incredible sight to behold. It is located in the Daniel Campos province in Potosi in southwest Bolivia, near the crest of the Andes at an elevation of 3,656 meters 11,995 feet above sea level. Located at a lofty attitude of 3,653 meters above sea level, Bolivia's Salar de Uyuni is the world's largest salt flats covering almost 12,000 square kilometers. Covering an area larger than 10,000 square kilometers, 3,900 square miles, in area, the flats contains 10 billion tons of salt, of which 25,000 tons are extracted annually. During the dry season you will witness hundreds of conical mounds dotted across the flats awaiting exportation. The salt is then sold in Bolivia as well as being shipped all over the world. Originally part of the prehistoric Lake Minchin, which covered most of southwest Bolivia, formation of the flats began some 40,000 years ago as a result of the Andean uplift. As the high Bolivian Altiplano emerged, Lake Minchin eventually dried up, leaving behind the salt deposits the area is now famed for. Today, two modern lakes, Pupo and Uru Uru, remain, as well as the two major salt deserts of Salar de Coipusha and the larger Salar de Uyuni. During the rainy season, a combination of increased rainfall, plus an overflowing Lake Pupo, creates a wholly unique environment, where the sky is magnificently reflected. Photos of the phenomenon simply don't do it justice. Yosemite National Park is an American national park in the state of California, surrounded on the southeast by Sierra National Forest and on the northwest by Stanislaus National Forest. The park is managed by the National Park Service and covers an area of 759,620 acres or 1,187 square miles. The jaw-dropping head turner of America's national parks and a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Yosemite, Yosemite EE, garners the devotion of all who enter. From the waterfall-striped granite walls buttressing emerald green Yosemite Valley to the skyscraping giant sequoias catapulting into the air at Mariposa Grove, the place inspires a sense of awe and reverence. Four million visitors wend their way to the country's third oldest national park annually. But lift your eyes above the crowds and you'll feel your heart instantly moved by unrivaled splendors. The haughty profile of Half Dome, the hulking presence of El Capitan, the drenching mists of Yosemite Falls, the gemstone lakes of the high country's subalpine wilderness and Hetch Hetchy's pristine pathways. The Meteora is a rock formation in the regional unit of Trikala, in Thessaly, Greece, hosting one of the largest and most precipitously built complexes of Eastern Orthodox monasteries. 
There are six Meteora monasteries perched on the huge cliffs people can visit today. Serene, spiritual, magical, mystical, extraordinary, breathtaking, immense, inspiring, impressive. These are only some of the words people very often use in an effort to describe the Meteora monasteries. Visit Meteora, even if your interests are not deeply religious. It is the only way to enrich your feelings of spirituality that this area already exudes, no matter how long or brief your sojourn in our beautiful land. The six active Meteora monasteries create a truly inspiring and sensational setting of overwhelming rock formations with these ancient monuments occupying their picks. In essence, Meteora today has become a preservation ark for the 2,000-year-old Christian Orthodox creed. Today, out of initially 24 monasteries that used to exist, only six remain active for people to visit. Check the map to have a better idea of where the six active monasteries of Meteora are located. Out of those six active monasteries, two of them, Agio Stephanos and Rusanu, are convents with nuns and the rest four are male monasteries with monks. In total, today there are approximately 50 nuns and 17 monks still living in the active monasteries of Meteora. Mountainous district located in Yenbai province, at the foot of the Hoang Lien Sun mountain range, more than 300 kilometers north of Hanoi, the Vietnamese capital, New Kang Chai is one of the most spectacular destinations in Vietnam. This destination is renowned among travelers for its fantastic rice terraces, some of the most beautiful in the country, and for its ethnic minority villages that populate this dazzling region of beauty. It's an unforgettable trip to the heart of a region prized for nature lovers and captivating encounters. The rice terraces of Mu Kang Chai are recognized as the national natural heritage and each year the Rice Fields Festival is held during which several cultural activities are held around rice and local customs, dances, songs and traditional music, goat fights, ethnic markets etc. Mu Kang Chai's rice terraces are an integral part of local culture, especially that of the majority Hmong ethnic group in this remote region. Mu Kang Chai's terraced rice fields tumbling down into mountain waterfalls are a masterpiece shaped by the hand of man, a titanic work that fascinates travelers. Santorini, officially Thera, is an island in the southern Aegean Sea, about 200 kilometers, 120 miles, southeast from the Greek mainland. Santorini, known since ancient times as Thera, is one of the most famous islands in the world. The fact that you can sit in front of the caldera, enjoy local dishes, a drink or a coffee while gazing at the remarkable beauty of an active volcano is priceless. The island is actually a group of islands consisting of Thera, Therasha, Aspronisi, Palea and Nea Kameni in the southernmost part of the Cyclades. Santorini's volcano is one of the few active volcanoes on Greek and European land the islands that form Santorini came into existence as a result of intensive volcanic activity. Twelve huge eruptions occurred, one every 20,000 years approximately, and each violent eruption caused the collapse of the volcano's central part creating a large crater, caldera. The volcano, however, managed to recreate itself over and over again. Fira is the picturesque capital of the island perched on the top edge of the caldera, 260 meters above sea level, offering breathtaking views to the Aegean Sea and the island of Nea Kameni. Along the border of the caldera you'll come across the renowned villages of Oya. The whole village looks like a work of art as the houses are carved into the lava rock, I Meravili and Fira Stefani, which are the best spots for you to get your sunset views. China's rainbow-colored mountains, the Rainbow Mountains, located in China's Zhangye Danzha Landform Geological Park are considered one of the geological wonders of the world. These mountains take their colors from the colorful rock formations and are a major tourist destination. This site was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Lin's Danzha Scenic Area is the most popular and most developed area of the park. Bingu is a second area located on the Liyuan River. Although it is visited less, it offers additional views of amazing landscapes. A third area is known as Sunan Danja Scenic Area. 
The Rainbow Mountains are Cretaceous sandstones and silt stones that were deposited in China before the Himalayan mountains were formed. The sand and silt was deposited with iron and trace minerals that provided it with the key ingredient to form the colors we see today. The rock formations and rolling hills almost look as if they were painted. The landscapes are surreal. It would be fair to say that Zhangye National Geopark is the most colorful national park in the world. Angkor Wat is a temple complex in Cambodia, located on a site measuring 1,626,000 square meters or 402 acres. The Guinness World Records considers it as the largest religious structure in the world. Angkor is one of the most important archaeological sites in Southeast Asia. Stretching over some 400 square kilometers, including forested area, Angkor Archaeological Park contains the magnificent remains of the different capitals of the Khmer Empire, from the 9th to the 15th century. They include the famous Temple of Angkor Wat and, at Angkor Thom, the Bayan Temple with its countless sculptural decorations. UNESCO has set up a wide-ranging program to safeguard this symbolic site and its surroundings. Representing the abode of Hinduism's ancient gods, the spectacular temple of Angkor Wat is quite literally heaven on earth and the jewel in the Khmer archaeological crown. Little can prepare you for the sheer scale, splendor and symmetry of Angkor Wat, a perfect blend of artistic genius and spiritual devotion. The inner walls of the outer gallery feature a series of large-scale stone carvings depicting lively scenes from the Hindu epics the Ramayana and the Mahabharata. The Italian city of Venice is located on the Adriatic Sea in the northeast of the country. The city in Italy is divided into six districts and some of the most famous islands are Lido di Venezia, Murano and Burano. The special thing about Venice city is that there are no normal roads. There is one long bridge between the mainland and Venice, with only one road and a railway. Every other transportation runs via the famous canals, of which there are about 177 to and from the more than a hundred islands that makes up Venice. The Canal Grande is one of the widest canals and apart from a touristic gondola you can also opt for a water bus, Vaporetto, to get around in the city. The Grand Canal is spanned by four bridges. At its most dramatic bend is the famous Rialto Bridge, designed by the aptly named Antonio da Ponte. Venice is a walking city. Other than at the great parking lots at Rome Square and on the Lido, automobiles are banned from the city. The best-known form of transport on the waterways of Venice is the gondola. Today there are only several hundred of these unique, keelless boats left, and they have long been outnumbered by other vessels. But their elegant, sleek shape and gleaming black paintwork have made them a symbol of Venice. Many writers have described the romance of Venice by gondola, and many tourists are still willing to pay high prices to be rowed at twilight through the canals to the singing of a gondolier. Plitvice Lakes National Park, Croatia's largest national park, covering almost 30,000 hectares, is situated in the lower elevations of the Dinarides in the central part of the country. Within a beautiful karst landscape dominated by a mix of forests and meadows, the magnificent Plitvice Lake system stands out, fascinating scientists and visitors alike. Interconnected by many waterfalls and watercourses above and below ground, the lakes are grouped into the upper and lower lakes. The former are formed on dolomites, with mild relief, not so steep shores and enclosed by thick forests, whereas the latter, smaller and shallower, are situated in limestone canyon with partially steep shores. The lake system is the result of millennia of ongoing geological and biochemical processes creating natural dams known as tufa barriers. Simply said, it's gorgeous here. Lakes, waterfalls, and cool boardwalk trails all work magically together to create a very unique destination. Around every bend is another beautiful view. Be prepared to ooh and ah and take lots of photos. 
Klitvice Lakes National Parks contain 16 interconnecting lakes that vary in color from emerald green to turquoise to deep blue, depending on mineral content and lighting conditions. Throw in those waterfalls and you really have something special. Navajia Beach, or Shipwreck Beach, is an exposed cove, sometimes referred to as Smuggler's Cove, on the coast of Zakynthos, in the Ionian Islands of Greece. The beach of Navajia is the most famous beach of Zakynthos lying on the western side of the Ionian island, close to Anaphoteria village. The shipwreck is one of the most photographed sites in Greece. It is considered as one of the most beautiful beaches in Greece. It was initially called Agios Georgios but owes its new name to the shipwreck of a boat that transported illegal cigarettes, in 1983. The ship was washed ashore. With the years passing, the sand completely surrounded the ship which looks now as it emerges from it. The vestiges of the ship can be seen in the middle of the large white sandy beach which has amazing turquoise and crystalline waters. Huge vertical cliffs of white rocks are surrounding the sand creating a unique and enchanting image. To reach this paradise, one has to take a little boat from the small port of Porto Vromi. These taxi boats are leaving every hour and the trip is about 30 minutes. Grand Canyon, immense canyon cut by the Colorado River in the High Plateau region of northwestern Arizona, U.S., noted for its fantastic shapes and coloration. The Grand Canyon lies in the southwestern portion of the Colorado Plateau, which occupies a large area of the southwestern United States and consists essentially of horizontal layered rocks and lava flows. The broad, intricately sculptured chasm of the canyon contains between its outer walls a multitude of imposing peaks, buttes, gorges, and ravines. It ranges in width from about 175 yards, 160 meters, to 18 miles, 29 kilometers, and extends in a winding course from the mouth of the Paria River near Lee's Ferry in the northern boundary of Arizona with Utah, to Grand Wash Cliffs, near the Nevada State Line, a distance of about 277 miles, 446 kilometers. The first portion of the canyon, from Lee's Ferry to the confluence with the Little Colorado River, is called Marble Canyon. The Grand Canyon also includes many tributary side canyons and surrounding plateaus. The Grand Canyon offers one of the most visible examples of a worldwide geological phenomenon known as the Great Unconformity, in which 250 million year old rock strata lie back to back with 1.2 billion year old rocks. What happened during the hundreds of millions of years between remains largely a mystery. The Grand Canyon was declared as a UNESCO World Heritage Site for being one of the most spectacular places in the world. No photographs or descriptions can ever completely describe the timeless beauty of the canyon. The stunning visual changes and the vastness can only be experienced. Pyramids of Giza Erected on a rocky plateau on the west bank of the Nile River near al Giza, Giza, in northern Egypt. In ancient times they were included among the seven wonders of the world. The ancient ruins of the Memphis area, including the pyramids of Giza, Saqqara, Dashur, Abu Ruwaysh, and Abu Sur, were collectively designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1979. The pyramids of Giza are the largest and most recognizable pyramid structures in the world. They were built to honor certain pharaohs of the fourth ruling dynasty of Egypt during a period known as the Old Kingdom. The Old Kingdom was the first great era of Egyptian civilization and lasted from 2686 to 2181 BCE. There are three main pyramids of Giza, belonging to the pharaohs Khufu, Khafra, and Menkora. There are also around six smaller subsidiary pyramids belonging to various royal women. What's inside the pyramids of Giza? The pyramids of Giza are mostly solid masses of stone with very little to be found inside. Like many ancient Egyptian pyramids, those of Khafra and Menkora have passageways at their base that lead to small subterranean burial chambers underneath each pyramid. The interiors of all three pyramids of Giza are open to visitors, but each requires the purchase of a separate ticket. Although tourists were once able to freely climb the pyramids, that is now illegal. 
Offenders face up to three years in prison as penalty. Cappadocia is a historical region in central Anatolia, Turkey. Imagine waking up to a fairy tale landscape with a brilliant sun rising into the bluest of skies. The same sky is which are peppered with hot air balloons slowly ascending. This is usually the first sight a visitor has when in Cappadocia, but this is just an introduction to the possibilities and adventures that await one in Cappadocia, the land of the beautiful horses. Cappadocia incorporates parts of the cities of Aksaray, Nefshahir, Nigda, Kayseri and Kershahir, where the land has been shaped into fantastic forms over the course of millions of years. Fairy chimneys that seem mysterious and cities and houses of worship that extend many meters deep into the earth are all enveloped in an atmosphere that is ethereal and unworldly. This landscape has been home to innumerable cultures and civilizations, due to the ease with which the soil could be carved out. The area is littered with many underground cities that seem frozen in time. Cappadocia is an open-air museum that was witness and has evidence for the Assyrians, Hittites, Romans, Byzantines, early Christians, Islam and more. Conquering the scenery from up above. Hot air balloons. As dawn breaks, you will float in air with great calmness. Rock formations dating back to millions of years, unimaginable landforms unique to this geography lying beneath. Valleys offering majestic sceneries, high altitudes painting a multi-hued topography down below, slopes weaved in velvety texture. The land of fairy chimneys has become the center for hot air ballooning gradually. Batu Caves is a magote, a type of karst landform, that has a series of caves and cave temples in Gombak, Selangor, Malaysia. It takes its name from the Malay word Batu, meaning rock. The hill was originally known as Kapal Tongong from the legend of Si Tongong. The town nearby is named after the Batu Caves limestone formation. The caves are one of the country's biggest tourist attractions and are a place of pilgrimage for Tamil Hindus. They are named for the Sungai Batu, Batu River, which flows nearby, and are located 7 miles 13 kilometers, north of Kuala Lumpur, the capital of Malaysia. Batu Caves is not only one of the most important pilgrimage sites for Hindus, it is also a must-visit destination for local and foreign tourists alike. It is claimed to be around 400 million years old, and the temple that was built within the cave has been present for more than a century. Here, you will be able to appreciate the fascinating shrines and statues, incorporated within the natural offerings of the limestone hill. There are four main attractions at Batu Caves which is a limestone hill riddled with caves. These attractions are Temple Cave, or Cathedral Cave, Dark Cave, Cave Villa and Ramayana Cave. In order to reach the top of the main cave, you will need to climb a steep flight of 272 steps. Rest assured that it's totally worth it as you'll be greeted by the sights of the beautiful cave, and a stunning view of the surrounding areas. In 2018, the stairs received a complete makeover. They were repainted in vibrant color schemes, offering a spectacular visual treat. Glaciercaves.is The largest and most voluminous ice cap in Iceland, it is in the southeast of the island, covering approximately 10% of the country. Vatnajökull region is a great place to visit one of Iceland's natural wonders, the ice caves form during the winter months in the outlet glaciers of Vatnajökull, one of the biggest glaciers in Europe by volume. In the fall, professional local guides go scouting for the ice caves for the coming winter season. Most of the ice caves are formed as canals for water that run through or at the bottom of the glacier. The water digs its way from underneath the glacier and forms the caves. Usually, they are formed in the summer when the flow of meltwater is at its peak. Then they are full of water and not accessible. When the shedding stops during fall, the flow of water in the cave greatly reduces and usually stops completely throughout the winter. The temperature becomes cold enough to strengthen the ice. As a result, what you have left is an ice cave. 
the landscape is truly otherworldly. If you have time to do only one thing while you're in Iceland, I'd recommend glacier hiking. The Amalfi Coast is a stretch of coastline in southern Italy overlooking the Tyrrhenian Sea and the Gulf of Salerno. It is located south of the Sorrentine Peninsula and north of the Salentin Coast. There are 13 seaside towns on the Amalfi Coast, from the east to the west. The Amalfi Coast extends geographically from Punta Campanella on the southern edge of the Sorrentine Peninsula to the town of Vietri sul Mare. It is only about 50 kilometers or 31 miles in length but is one of the most popular travel destinations in Italy. It's not hard to see why, the charming historical towns atop sheer cliffs, overlooking beautiful beaches and glittering seas, are undoubtedly attractive. The Amalfi Coast is famous for its picturesque seaside towns, cliffs, and beaches. It's known for its stunning coastline and colorful villages with steep and narrow streets. Many towns along the Amalfi Coast have a rich historical legacy with important sites of historical and artistic value. Italy's Amalfi Coast boasts a classic Mediterranean landscape, a sensual blend of both natural and cultural wonders. The breathtaking terrain includes dramatic coastline topography scattered with terraced vineyards, orchards, and pastures, often with enchanting views of the vibrant waters below. Gasadalur is a village located on the west side of Vagar, Faroe Islands, and enjoys a panoramic view over to the island of Mykines. Gasadalur is located on the edge of Mykinisfor, surrounded by the highest mountains on Vagar. Arnafjell towers to a height of 722 meters to the north, and Tinder to the east is 715 meters high. Here too, the view south to Tindholmer and Gasholmer is quite magnificent. Tinder translates to English as, the peak in the east. Gasadalur is a small village but this place draws visitors from far and wide because of its beautiful sceneries, including the Mulafasser waterfall. Visitors who come here also enjoy the view of Goose Valley, wild geese, puffins, and other sites on Vagar Island. It is also an ideal place for hikers. Gasadalur is a perfect choice for anyone looking for tranquil sightseeing and long walks. Without a doubt, the landscapes of all the island are extremely majestic, and one of the island's true wonders is the village of Gasadalur which is home to one of the most surreal waterfalls that exist in this world, Mulafasser. Oh, by the way, there live only 18 people at the moment. Bora Bora is an island group in the Leeward Islands. The Leeward Islands comprise the western part of the Society Islands of French Polynesia, which is an overseas collectivity of the French Republic in the Pacific Ocean. Bora Bora has a total land area of 30.55 square kilometers or 12 square miles. Bora Bora, the South Sea's legend, Pearl of the Pacific, with one of the most beautiful lagoons in the world. Almost indescribable, the color of the water scintillates with the brightest shades of blue, from cyan to turquoise, passing through emerald green to dark sapphire. The delightful illusion is created by the interplay of light, water and the brilliant white sand, which carpets the depths of the lagoon. At the southern tip of the main island, Matira Beach is the only one open to the public in Bora Bora. With its pristine white sand and row of coconut trees, it offers a beautiful setting to meet the locals. The locals are some of the friendliest people you will ever meet. Their culture is very much based around family and tradition, and it's not unusual to find four generations living within one household. This generally translates to a slower pace of life. There are many established dive sites in Bora Bora. Bora Bora scuba diving is ideal for all levels of divers. Inside the calm lagoon is perfect for beginner divers and there are more technical dives outside the reef for advanced divers.
Victoria Falls is a waterfall on the Zambezi River in southern Africa. It is located on the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe and is one of the world's largest waterfalls, with a width of 1,708 meters or 5,604 feet. It provides habitat for several unique species of plants and animals. The Victoria Falls presents a spectacular sight of awe-inspiring beauty and grandeur on the Zambezi River. It was described by the Kololo tribe living in the area as Mozi Oatunya, the smoke that thunders for the immense spray and incredible noise caused by the rushing water. Victoria Falls is now also known as the greatest curtain of falling water in the world when its width and height are combined. The Zambezi is known as the River of Life across southern Africa, but surviving by the river near Victoria Falls is not always easy. During the rainy season, the Zambezi has a fierceness and a power that is deadly to both animals and humans. At the peak of the rainy season, almost 300,000 gallons of water cascade over the falls every second. During the dry season, life gravitates to the river by Victoria Falls. As the sun beats down and the water level lowers, grass-covered islands above the falls are exposed. Families of elephants from the surrounding savanna flock to the Zambezi to make the river crossing. Predator and prey rely on the river for water, and pairs of bee-eaters and pied kingfishers dig nests in the exposed muddy banks. Fish eagles raise their young and teach them to hunt, and hippos crowd the waters. Provence is a geographical region and historical province of southeastern France, which extends from the left bank of the Lower Rhone to the west to the Italian border to the east. It is bordered by the Mediterranean Sea to the south. The Romans made the region the first Roman province beyond the Alps and called it Provincia Romana, which evolved into the present name. Built on the foothills of the Monts of Vaucluse, facing the Luberon, Gourds is one of the most well-known hilltop villages in the region, and one of the most beautiful in France. Its houses and buildings of white stone root themselves into the sharp cliff of the mountain. Its labyrinth of collades, narrow cobblestone streets, do not leave the visitor indifferent to its charms. Provence is a many-splendored thing, and one of its many great splendors is its coastline. Coastal Provence lays claim to everything from shimmering beaches and yacht-clogged harbors to azure, sheltered coves and charming fishing villages. To some, there's nothing that epitomizes the appeal of Provence more than the purple rows of lavender that pepper the landscape every summer. The lavender fields of Provence represent a change of seasons, a ripening of the earth, and a time when life slows to the mercy of the sun's strong rays. The Provence lavender fields are among the best in the world, and they're certainly among the most famous. Come early summer, when the spring poppies have all but disappeared, bright lavender flowers start to transform the already beatific landscape into a patchwork of color. Pamukale is located in Turkey's inner Aegean region, in the river Menderes Valley, which has a temperate climate for most of the year. Pamukale, meaning cotton castle, in Turkish, is a natural site in Denizli province in southwestern Turkey. The area is famous for a carbonate mineral left by the flowing of thermal spring water. Over the course of thousands of years, this mineral has formed white water pools famous around the whole world for their healing properties. It is located in Turkey's inner Aegean region, in the river Menderes Valley, which has a temperate climate for most of the year. Over the course of thousands of years, this mineral has formed white water pools famous around the whole world for their healing properties. Herapolis was originally a Phrygian cult center of the Anatolian mother goddess of Cybele and later a Greek city. Its extensive remains are adjacent to modern Pamukkale in Turkey. At the end of the 2nd century BC, the dynasty of the Attalids, the kings of Pergamon, established the thermal spa of Herapolis. The ruins of the baths, temples and other Greek monuments can be seen at the site. It was added as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1988 along with Herapolis. 
If you ever go to Turkey make sure you visit this place. It is worth it. If you like this video please rate and subscribe us. Is very important for our channel. The Alps are the highest and most extensive mountain range that is entirely in Europe, stretching approximately 1,200 kilometers or 750 miles across seven Alpine countries, France, Switzerland, Italy, Liechtenstein, Austria, Germany, and Slovenia. The name Alps has a long history. The Latin word Alps was already in use in the first century BC. One theory is that it was derived from Albus equals white and referred originally to the snowy peaks. The Alps provide lowland Europe with drinking water, irrigation, and hydroelectric power. Although the area is only about 11% of the surface area of Europe, the Alps provide up to 90% of water to lowland Europe. Major European rivers flow from the Alps, including the Rhine, the Rhone, the Inn, and the Po. The mountains were formed over tens of millions of years as the African and Eurasian tectonic plates collided. Extreme shortening caused by the event resulted in marine sedimentary rocks rising by thrusting and folding into high mountain peaks such as Mont Blanc and the Matterhorn. Mont Blanc is the highest mountain in the Alps, spanning three countries. Its granite ramparts distinguish it from other peaks. Mont Blanc's ranges rose straight from the deep and are still rising, a phenomenon caused by glacial movement. As well as mountains, the Alps are famous for its clear alpine lakes, including the stunning Lake Geneva, Lake Constance and Lake Como. The Alps are an extremely popular area, attracting over 100 million visitors every year. No matter where and when you are in the Alps, you're sure to be treated to incredible views. The mountains go on for as far as the eye can see. The sheer grandeur of this mountain range is awe-inspiring making it a perfect place to reflect on how lucky you are to be able to experience something so special. Ha Long Bay or Ha Long Bay is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and popular travel destination in Quang Ninh Province, Vietnam. The name Ha Long means descending dragon. Administratively, the bay belongs to Ha Long City, Cam Pha City, and is a part of Van Don District. The bay features thousands of limestone karsts and aisles in various shapes and sizes. Ha Long Bay is a center of a larger zone which includes Bai Tu Long Bay to the northeast and Kat Ba Island to the southwest. These larger zones share a similar geological, geographical, geomorphological, climate, and cultural characters. Legend has it that shortly after the formation of the country, Vietnamese people had to fight back against hostile invaders attempting to enter the country through the sea. Refusing to allow his people to be defeated, the revered Jade Emperor called upon the gods to send the Mother Dragon and her children to help the Vietnamese people in defeating their enemies. Although the invaders were powerful and on the verge of winning, the dragons destroyed them in a blaze of fire. Halong Bay owns a complex of limestone islands located within the Gulf of Tonkin, in the city of Halong, Quang Ninh Province, which is about 170 kilometers from Hanoi. Halong Bay is surrounded by Bai Tu Long Bay in the northeast, Kat Ba Archipelago and Lan Ha Bay in the south and the east. The best thing to do in Halong Bay is no surprise, a cruise. There are hundreds of boats, from very small to large, from luxury to cheap and from day boats to multi-day boats. So no matter what kind of traveler you are, there is always a cruise in Halong that suits you. The water in the bay is very calm, so you don't have to worry about waves and getting seasick. You will also not get bored quickly, because there are many activities available during the boat trip. 
You can kayak, swim, in the right period, explore caves, visit floating villages and take walks on the larger islands. If you prefer to relax at the end of your active Vietnam vacation, you can simply stay on the cruise to admire the beautiful landscape of uninhabited islands and carstones jutting out of the water. Let us know if this video was helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe and rate us.